Hey everybody, it's Dave Altavilla for HotHardware.com here with a quick early preview look at one of the most hotly anticipated tablet PC releases of the holiday buying season. This is the Asus ePad Transformer Prime tablet and is based on Android 3.2 otherwise known as Honeycomb with Android 4 Ice Cream Sandwich coming to the tablet later in an over-the-air update. But what's interesting about this tablet is it's based on NVIDIA's Tegra 3 quad-core ARM 9 low power processor that is a quad core chip 1.3 gigahertz base frequency in multi-core mode able to boost up to 1.4 gigahertz in single core mode and it has a fifth 500 megahertz companion core this is a hot tablet with lots of power under the hood let's take a look around and show you what it's made of so the first thing to note about the Transformer Prime is that it is a 10.1 inch Android slate that has an optional keyboard dock. As you can see, it's plugged into right now. If we release this switch here, pull up, we can release the tablet from the dock and we're now in straight up tablet mode. 32 gig versions of the tablet only are going to retail for $499 here in the US, 64 gig versions for $599 and the dock is $149.99. Now the Prime is based on a 10.1 inch LED backlit display with a native resolution of 1280 by 800. It is a super IPS plus display. What that means is here in standard mode you're getting about 380 nits of brightness. Good uh, brightness, contrast and uh, color reproduction here and as you can see excellent viewing angles as well. It is a glossy panel so you'll have to forgive the house lights there glaring across the screen, but kicking into Super IPS Plus mode here in this control panel, and you get about 600 nits of brightness, which is really good for outdoor viewing environments and bright indoor environments as well. So really good brightness, 600 nits of output from this display. Gorgeous display, really sharp, beautiful display for sure. We would also note that the uh, backlight bleed that was so evident in the original Transformer 1 series of tablets from Asus here around the bezel area is not seen on the Transformer Prime. So they've got that situ situation rectified. We're glad to see that go. Here in the bottom you've got a sync and charge port. You've got a couple of slots here where it uh, snaps into the optional keyboard dock. On this side you've got an uh, audio jack and up top here you've got a microphone port and a power button over here. And on this side, you've got your volume rocker, micro HDMI port, micro SD card slot, and another microphone. On the front of the tablet is a 1.2 front facing, 1.2 megapixel webcam. And on the rear of the tablet is an 8 megapixel autofocus camera with flash. Taking a look quickly at the optional keyboard dock of the Transformer Prime, you've got this really nice brushed metal finish. This is actually amethyst gray. There's also a champagne gold color and that finish carries onto the back of the tablet as well. As you can see, brushed metal, really nice, sharp, does resist fingerprints, uh, not too bad there. Um, but again, a, a nice keyboard uh, area. Um, we would say fairly roomy, um, netbook style chiclet uh, keycaps, um, a little shallow travel to be honest, um, but with a little bit of practice you can get used to typing on this thing, no problem. Uh, large touchpad area with two button control. The keyboard dock does give you an additional sync and charge port as well as a power indicator, light and a full size USB and full size uh, SD card slot as well. Uh, we should also know that the dock has its own battery with about six hours of battery life capacity. The tablet, Asus claims, is capable of 12 hours on its own. So combined, Asus claims you get about 18 hours of battery life when the two are snapped together in docked mode. Now in terms of the operating system, Asus has applied some finishing touches to Android 3.2. This is a honeycomb build. Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich is, we're told, uh, becoming available in an over-the-air update later. And Asus is pretty darn good, by the way, at providing over-the-air updates for firmware and operating system. One of the best in the business would offer. Certainly we've seen that and experienced that with the original Transformer. Here you can see the, uh, the task manager is fired up and we've got a number of um, applications running in the background. The nice thing is you can just click an X here and kill uh, those applications. Um, you have get uh, uh, customized widgets, things like uh, this MyZine widget where you've got uh, weather, a website, um, your music list, and uh, the uh, images and videos gallery all piped into one widget. So some, some quick customizations there. 
With the tablet, you get a number of onboard utilities, things like My Library, My Net, My Cloud. We won't go through them individually here. This is a quick preview, but we are fully reviewing the tablet now currently, so make sure you stop by our site. You also get things like a Polaris Office on board as well. And again, in terms of response, as you can see, to, uh, to touch and uh, other activities, Again, this is Tegra 3 quad core with that fifth companion core. Uh, the fifth companion core really helps out uh, in terms of uh, preserving battery life and, and it will handle light duty workloads, but you've got up to four uh, cores uh, that can be active at uh, 1.3 gigahertz. So real good response, real good uh, horsepower under the hood. And as you can see, uh, browsing the web here, that's the hot hardware mobile site. Let's go to the full site. Um, no problem, we're over an 802.11n connection, and as you can see, things like pinch and zoom, fairly responsive. Um, we would offer that um, perhaps there's still some buffing and finishing uh, going on here with respect to the operating system and uh, how it functions in the platform. This is again early hardware, but um, very close to retail and a very good uh, response and experience in terms of uh, performance so far that we've tested. We'll take a look at some gaming and wrap this up. Now one of the nice things about the Transformer Prime is that it supports game controllers right out of the box. So Xbox 360, PlayStation and Wii controllers are supported. I am running here Shadow Gun by Madfinger Games. This is a first person shooter. It is Tegra 3 optimized. And if you look closely here, I've got a wireless USB dongle plugged into the USB port on the Prime. And this is a Logitech wireless game controller. And uh, I'm going to give you a little demo here. Hopefully I won't get killed too quick. But as you can see, Shadow Gun, Tegra 3 Optimized, is pretty darn impressive. Get these guys. I'm going to be hopeless here. But as you can see, the, the graphics are uh, cutting edge, to say the least. And uh, taking a look at like the water effects here, uh, real impressive, nice ripples, uh, really nice lighting. Um, this is on a tablet, and we have to say that uh, very impressed with what NVIDIA has been able to accomplish with this Tegra 3 optimized version of Shadow Gun. And that, again, is driven by NVIDIA's Tegra 3 processor with its onboard 12-core GPU, NVIDIA GPU, doing the rendering here. Pretty impressive stuff for sure. This has been a quick early preview look at the Asus Transformer Prime tablet. I'm Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware. Make sure you stop by our site for the full review with all the benchmark details. And thanks again for stopping by.